Well, hey everybody, this is Rockin' Spirit Jen, and today I'm coming to you with a dual purpose bar for him and her. It's leather and lace, and this is gonna be one side for the men and one side for the women, all in one bar. One bar in the shower does both a favor. So I'm gonna begin with um, my oils, which is avocado, castor, coconut, olive, sustainable palm, and I've got some safflower and some sweet almond and some shea butter. Some of that I'll reserve to super fat at the end. And then I've got my lye water with kaolin clay and I'm making the woman's side first. And to this, I'm also gonna add some colloidal oatmeal and pearl along the way. So I'm gonna mix these up and I'm gonna add some essential oil of rose and cashmere fragrance and a little bit of mica and some food safe coloring. And I'm gonna make these in three colors. There's gonna be a beautiful cocoa brown and a beautiful pink rose and then a nice creamy uh, beige color that's gonna be just perfect together. It's gonna to look really good on this lace look. And in my mold, I've put a doily that I've cut to size and I've soaked it in water so it uh, eliminates it soaking up the product. And then I'm gonna float this over that doily to make an impression of lace. And I'm going to then mix these colors as a one pot swirl and then I'll pour that into the mold. So we're adding our colorings and our mica. Then I'll blend those in and then I'll add my super fats and essential oils. And I'm going to bring this to a little bit less than a medium trace because I want it to be able to float nicely over that lace without getting too many clumps and air bubbles. So I'll get all these colors in and then I'll give it a quick little blend with the spatula and then I'll hit it with this high speed mixer. And these uh, fragrances are gonna blend so nicely. The rose, the cashmere, and the leather. Um, you could use both sides together, or you can use one side or the other, depending on what your, um, what your desires are. If you're the man, you might wanna stick with the leather, but the rose and cashmere is gonna be subtle, soft, and beautiful. So you won't have any problem using both sides if that's what you choose. Typically, I have the mammal allergy, so even though this is not real leather, uh, sense memory tells my brain that it is. So typically, I would wear a mask when I'm working with leather fragrance, and I'll probably use that tomorrow if I feel like I'm having any trouble with this today. So we're just blending those up nicely. The colors are coming along beautifully. We'll give this a quick little pulse. Make sure there's no clumps from the clay or the pearl powder. Now we'll add this pearl powder and oatmeal. Mix that in. And we're gonna super fat with a little leftover shea. And that way we'll have some remaining in the finished bar of soap to make your skin nice and smooth and silky beautiful. I was inspired to make this by another YouTuber who did the same technique and it looks so fun that I just had to do it myself. So in the pot and then I'll hit it with a spatula just to kind of incorporate the colors just a little bit so that they'll have a nice pattern floating over that doily. Get all that goodness out of here. Make sure we have the full amount of lye that we need. And the last color. Give that a little swirl. Cut that in just slightly. Now we'll pour this in the mold. And 
perfect consistency, nice color pattern going in. I'm very excited for this. I cannot wait to see the unveiling tomorrow. Now I want to have a dividing line between the men and women's fragrance. So I'm going to tap this down, spritz it a little bit with alcohol, and then I'm going to put a wonderful dusting of cocoa powder, which is going to give a beautiful dark brown stripe between the two colors, between the man's side and the woman's. So we'll just dust this finely, give a nice even layer. And then I'll go and prepare the next layer, the men's leather. Okay, well I've got my oils and my lye to perfect temperature, about 112 to 115 degrees. This is going to keep it nice and fluid so that whenever I add the oils, it tends to trace it a little bit faster and speed that up. So I want to go on the thinner side when I'm adding all my colors and mica there. Blend this to a light trace. Then we'll pour this off and we'll add our colors. And for the man's, one of the colors, I'm going to add some Aztec clay. So there'd be kaolin clay and Aztec clay in the leather side. And these are a perfect blend for men. It's going to feed their skin with minerals, going to help to soften, you know, the roughness that they get working out in the elements and in the kind of labors that men do, they can tend to get a little bit dried out. So this is going to nurture and feed their tissue with some wonderful minerals. And then they're going to have some of that shea butter in there that's just going to be softening to their skin at the same time. So it's going to be really, really good for them. Getting our colors perfectly blended to the shades that I want to see in a leather, chaps and saddle, western rustic look. That'll be nice for leather. We're putting our leather fragrance in, I'm mixing that up. Then I'll hit it with the pulsing stick just to make sure it's all nicely incorporated. Then we'll do an in-the-pot swirl with this one as well. And then I'll cut it in a couple of times with a spatula just to get a good pattern going. And then I'll pour that over a spatula to float it over that cocoa powder so to not get any of that cocoa powder floating up into this layer. So tan and golden brown and then nice cream color. Hold this a couple of times, and then we'll be ready to pour it into the mold. Just to break the fall. Oh, nice color pattern. These colors are perfect. Very masculine and rustic, just like our men. Tap that down. lay this a piece of vinyl that has a leather grain to it and I'm going to float that on there gently and then I'm just going to use a spatula just to make sure that all the edges are down and there's no air pockets. Well hey everybody my soap has now cured for 24 hours and it's time for the veiling and the unmolding out of this box. Now this is the first time that I've used this box it's actually a keepsake box that I got from our local craft store and I turned it into kind of a gelling box and I just pour my soap in here that was my idea so we'll see how well this turned out and how easy it is to get out of this box it's a very lightweight box I think I got it for two or three bucks and off so you can't beat that for a DIY mold. Um, so I like the lightweightness of the box. I think the wood's not too heavy. 
so I could pull the lid off and let's say I could just even use this as a, a soap mold here and just have it really thin and then, you know, just cut six bars out of there. That would be kind of cool. So let's see. I hope this turned out with my makeshift impression out of a doily that I found in a placemat that had kind of a leather texture to the placemat and I cut it to fit and then I had a, a lace doily a placemat that I cut just to fit in here to see if it would work so it's either going to be a fail or a very good call so, oh I'm so nervous I hope I can get this out of the mold. That would really, that would be terrible if I can't get this out of the mold. Oh, that would be just the worst. I may have to do this off camera so I don't embarrass myself. Okay, here it comes. It's so funny if I can't get this out. How embarrassing would that be? Not going to be easy though. I'm take even pressure so that it's not torqued, so that I can get this all the way out. Okay, it worked. Let me keep going. Okay, it's coming out. Keep doing it the way I was doing it. Ah, okay. Put that aside. Okay. I'm worried about this bottom doily. So what I did with it, a little bit softer on the edges. What I did was I wet the doily because I did not want the soap to soak into that fabric. I wanted to kind of give it a little head start with absorption so that the soap would be easier to release when it came time. And so we'll see if this is a fail or not. But I already have a plan B if it fails. I'm gonna heat the top so it gets soft. I'm gonna put another uh, silicone cake decorating thing that I have that could work in its place. But I'm thinking this is going to work just fine. We'll have to clean this up just ever so slightly, but it is making a beautiful imprint on this. Success! Ah, success! yippee ki -yay. I'm telling you, just put this aside. Oh, I am so pleased with how that turned out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's lift that up. Can you see? I'm going to come around and show you a closer view. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that detail in there. That turned out wonderful. Now, I'm going to try the back with the men's leather and see how that turned out. Okay, it's not so bad. It doesn't quite look as much like a leather grain as I was hoping but it still has a lot of beautiful characteristics. Some really nice colors. I'll come around and show you that. So that's kind of how that turned out, if you can see that okay. So, not too shabby. Okay, let's get this back. These colors play very well 
on the leather and lace look. So for the cowboy, they have a beautiful chocolate brown, a little bit of cream, a little bit of tan, buckskin, and then another little kind of a lighter yellow in there. So it's very reminiscent of all the cowboy colors. And then for the beautiful cowgirl, the lace, it's got beautiful colors of cashmere and rose. So being that it's got some little bit of a taupe color in here, it's got kind of purpley mauve. It's got a little bit of green to represent the foliage, a little cream, and a little bit brighter pop of pink to be like the roses. So I am very very happy for this dual purpose soap which is a his and her soap so some people just want to have one bar in the shower and the, the woman can use one side and then the man can use the other side and hey if the woman likes the mixture then she could sense both sides of the bar up and same thing for the man if he, because this is not too feminine it's not super rosy, it's got this beautiful soft cashmere that plays very wonderful with the leather. So this is just a win uh, in combination here. Absolutely love it. So we're gonna cut these into bars. I'm gonna put this side down. Okay, it's soft around the edges still. Probably should have left this in the mold maybe another day. But I was excited and I wanted to see if it turned out. Now this is another makeshift that I'm gonna try and see if it works. I, my goal is to get the edges worked in somehow to like a, an eyelet screw or a, a screw that has a hole in it and then I can hold my fingers on the edges, but for right now, I'm just gonna wrap this one circle. This is just a guitar string <laughs> that I went to the guitar store and picked up today to be a cutter, because I don't have a cutter big enough for that, and I didn't want to use a wide knife. So I thought, you know, I'm just gonna give this a try. And it's already got like a little eyelet screw on this side, which I wish there was one on both sides, but that's not how guitars work. So I thought I would just try to pull this through to the bottom and see if I get decent cuts out of it. I do, excuse me, I need to measure this to make sure I get the sizes. These are gonna be a hefty bar because it's got the his and hers. So, you know, they're gonna weigh about six or seven ounces. Just see. Oh my gosh, I hope this works. Hope it works, I hope it works. I'm just twist this around my finger a little bit some tension on there. <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of give. Okay, so I'm just gonna...
And here's the finished product. I think that turned out really beautiful. I've got them situated where you could see the front and backs of each soap. And these will look marvelous on a bathroom sink, in the shower. You will enjoy using these. If you would like these for your own home or someone that you know, please visit my Etsy store, Rock and Spirit, or rockandspiritcreations.com. God bless and make it a great day. Yippee-ki-yay!